Okay, so once you've downloaded your Google Plus Automation software here, hopefully you just downloaded it to your desktop like I did, we're simply going to double click and we're going to extract and we're just going to extract the contents back to our desktop in a new folder that we'll call Google Plus Automation. Hit OK, hit Extract, and you're done. So now we should have a new folder on our desktop. Go and find it here. Here it is. I just pulled it from my other screen for you. So once you're in here, double click your folder. You'll find the Google Plus Automation Guide, a README file, and the actual plugin itself. So the next thing we need to do is go to our WordPress. Okay, I'm going to go to my main site. I'm going to log into my back, my admin area. As you can see, I got a pop up here when I was exiting, and this is what the upsell is in one of my other offers, which is AdSense Accelerator. The upsell is actually this exit pop, which is really awesome. You can put uh, five different URLs in there. If you guys are interested, let me know, and I'll send you a link to it. So I'm just going to hit Lead Page. I'm going to go to my admin area. I'm going to go to my plugins and I'm simply going to install my plugins in here. So we just go to add new, upload, browse, and we need to go and find our plugin on our desktop which is our Google Plus Automation folder. Double click. Grab the WPGAD zip file. Hit open. Install now. Activate the plugin. And it's done. Now, I know most of you guys are used to going to the plugins over here into the settings and doing what you do to, you know, put in your your information and stuff. That's not how this plugin works. You need to come over to the admin area, go into edit my profile, and here's your information with the plugin. Okay? So, what you can do is add your bio. I'm a really nice guy. Create a new password if you want, just leave it the same if you want. Put your Google Plus profile right in here. This is where your profile goes. All right. So you have your Google Plus ID. Simply copy and paste that in there like that, and it should you get this long number HTTPS equals uh, profiles.google.com forward slash and this big long number. You need the whole thing in here. As it says in the directions, please enter your Google Plus profile URL and include the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash plus blah 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 blah. You need all this information in there, all right? Preferred name admin, just leave that. If you want to add to your About Me page, simply check that box and this is going to add your authorship URL. For your, it's going to connect your Google Plus to your About Me page. Um, your About Me page is right here and uh, if it doesn't pop up here, just simply search. It'll show all your pages to your website right here, just choose your about page. If you want to add it to each of the posts, it'll add a link to each post. If you want to add a link to the post metadata, and you got a description here, under the post title, replace the author name with the link to above about me page. You could do that as well. Or you can add to all your other pages in there, which I highly recommend. So this is really cool if you want to do this. It's going to create backlinks for you it's going to give you Google juice. So what Google is looking for is with this author stuff is that you are the one that wrote the articles and you are the one that wrote the posts and so you will get credit for those posts. It's fresh information. It's what Google is looking for and that's what makes this plugin so powerful. And down here you've got add the about me page, add link to your about me page. You can put your link in there if you want to do that. Expert.com Go to About Me, 
copy that, go back, and put that in there. And now what this is going to do is on all your pages and stuff, it's going to say, uh, hey, you want to learn more about this, uh, this author? And it's going to put this link in there, which is really, really cool. So that's about it. That's all there is to it. It's very simple. It's very powerful. Make sure you do a nice keyword rich bio right here. And you can add all this other stuff up in here than your regular admin if you like. And just simply hit update profile. Now if we go back, hit refresh here, we're going to get a pop-up. Again, this is my exit pop-up that is the one-time offer on the Google AdSense Accelerator tool. Uh, this is the one-time offer again. Uh, you can get that on that offer on Warrior Forum or on JVZoo, whatever you want. We're going to hit leave page. We're going to hit come back here. Now, if we scroll to the bottom of the page here, we're going to see it added this link. Quick start expert about Mick, right? Check that out. Brings up your picture, all your products, your whole Google profile. As you can see, I'm still working on my Google profile. And uh, that's what this is for. So now, there's a strategy guide that comes with this. And it tells you how to work this Google Plus thing to give you backlinking juice back to your website. And that's part of this whole strategy. This isn't just the plugin I'm selling you. I'm giving you guys my strategy of how to create these recurring links for Google juice for your Google Plus automation to every single one of your websites. And remember, this is an unlimited license. You can use this plugin on every single one of your websites. It's an amazing plugin. It's super easy. You saw me do it in like five seconds. And you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this training.